Hello and welcome, this is Jason Baker. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import Steam games into LaunchBox or BigBox. Now, in order to import any games, you have to start with the LaunchBox configuration, where BigBox is more the graphical visualization for an arcade cabinet or when you're just simply using joysticks. But in this case, go ahead and click on the hamburger menu up here, go down to Tools, and then to Import. You're gonna see a pop-up window here on the right and you're going to choose Steam Games. Now the wizard is going to pop up, just simply click on the next button. And here you're going to have to enter what is considered your Steam custom URL. So you may ask, where do you get that? You're gonna get that directly from the Steam website. So let's go ahead and transition to that. Here I'm on the Steam website. So what I'm going to do, I'm already logged in. So I'll just go ahead and click on the account details. Go to View Profile, and then we're going to go to Edit Profile. Now you may see a blank box here for the custom URL, which means that your custom URL is going to be a number. I'm going to make mine a little more simpler by just simply making my own custom URL. And you'll see that it's going to be updated here below. So this will be my custom URL that I'm going to copy into LaunchBox itself. So let's go ahead and copy this. And there is no, yep, there is a save option. So click on the save button to make sure that URL is now saved. Now the next step is to simply go back to LaunchBox and then enter that custom URL into the box. So in my case here, it's going to be Integrum Retro and then we'll click next. The next step is you're gonna to have to create what's called an API key. Because LaunchBox is gonna be essentially logging in as this user account, it needs to somehow access your Steam account on your behalf. So to do so, you're going to have to click on this link here to get an API key. Now this is going to open a new browser window, which is going to allow you to register for a new Steam API web key. For the domain name, any domain name will work. So we can just type in something like say, gmail.com, yahoo.com, google.com, whatever you want. It really doesn't matter to get this working. Then just simply tick the box and click register. Now you're going to have an API key that you're going to go ahead and copy into your LaunchBox configuration. So just highlight that, copy it, and let's go back to LaunchBox and enter this API key. So here we have the API key input box. Just simply paste the API key from the website and click next. Now in this case here, you're going to be importing for a, a number of different selected platforms. So in LaunchBox, there's a number of different places that you can actually put these games. In fact, you may prefer to put them in a different platform, they say, than Windows. Perhaps you want to put it in Steam. The problem is, is those, there is no Steam category in LaunchBox, but yet you want to download imagery, videos, metadata about those games. So what you'd want to do is change the Scrape As to Windows. So go down here to Windows, and that's still gonna download all of the artwork and imagery for the Steam games, but it's gonna look under the Windows category because these essentially are Windows games. Click Next. Then you can choose, well, what metadata do you wanna get? So looking for data in the local LaunchBox database is good. Um, I would also suggest maybe prioritizing Steam data if there is uh, available. And you only wanna force importing of duplicate games if they already exist. So it's possible that you may already have other versions of uh, your Steam games imported, but it's not necessary to check that box. Now in this case here, it's asking, would you like to download imagery? Absolutely, this is quite tedious to go and find on the internet myself. So we'll just simply click on check all, and it's gonna go out and search the LaunchBox database for all of this cart and box and possibly arcade information, uh, but I don't believe that these will be arcade games. So now it's connecting to Steam, and if it's successful, there we go. It's now producing a list of the potential games that we have. All you have to do is just simply click on the box for whichever games that you want to import. In my case, we'll do Mortal Kombat 11, and also have Street Fighter, which I'll be including as well. So once I click Finish, it's now going to communicate with the Steam platform. It's going to download all of the LaunchBox games imagery and videos, so these will appear as videos in your big box theme. And then it's going to have Steam download them directly to your PC if they are not already installed. So we'll skip ahead here and then I'll show you how to configure the input devices once your software has been installed. Notice here that it's downloading all of the imagery from the LaunchBox database. So this is going to appear inside a big box and LaunchBox 
and I didn't have to go out and retrieve any of that information. Once your game is imported successfully, now you just simply have to find it. So in this case here, I have filtered my launch box by platform category, but I imported a new platform called Steam. So I'm gonna simply change this from platform category up here to platform. Then I'll have to scroll through and just find Steam, and I can place that wherever I want to. So in this case, I think I'd like Steam to appear as its own category, or I could literally put it under the arcades category. So here I have Steam, I have Mortal Kombat, but I'd like this to appear as a category all to itself, so I'm going to simply edit Steam, go to the Parents tab, change it from Computers, and put it right here under the root. Now once I go back to the Platform category, there's my Steam, a little bit more easier accessible because I know these are different types of games, and then I'm ready to play. Now the first time you click on the game, if the game hasn't been downloaded, you'll see here that it says you're about to download this, here's the disk space required, how much is available, etc. And then if you do have enough disk capacity, you can go ahead and install that. So I've already pre-installed Street Fighter, so I'll show you next how to configure a Steam game from within LaunchBox, so that way it's going to be playable inside of BigBox. Before we do, let's first go into Steam and configure the controllers. Start by clicking on Steam and then Settings, then go down to the Controller option and click on General Controller Settings. You'll see here that I have two iPad controllers, which are part uh, default for Project Kitchen Sink. Then I'm going to configure my primary buttons, starting with the diagram there you can see on the left, and that will be the bottom row of buttons. So I'll start with button one, and then the second button will be on the bottom, and then I move to the top row, which is similar to the actual joystick. Then we'll just click on the Start button for Start. For Guide, I'll use Player 1 and then the joystick down. Then for the Back button, that'll be the Coin button for Player 1. And at this point here, I want to skip the left and right stick. I want to go right to the shoulders. Now the shoulders are going to be the top row of buttons, the last two. So for left shoulder, we'll go and click the button. And then right shoulder, we'll click the right button. Now I don't need D-pad, but I do need the left stick. The left stick is just gonna use the joystick so it'll tell what direction. So we have the X, Y coordinates. And if I can just figure out how to, here we go, just get that moved down. And now I can click on the left stick and it will register and then the Y going up and down. Now finally, I have to do the trigger buttons, which will be the last two buttons on the bottom row, left and right. Now again, they don't have to be perfect, uh, they're just simply assigned, because usually you may want to reconfigure them to your settings inside of the game itself. And here I'm going to skip uploading this configuration. Now let's go into Big Box and find our game under the Steam category. Now I've only got Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, so we'll go ahead and play this. Wait for that to load. Once the game is loaded, we're gonna go down to the settings, the battle settings, and we're gonna configure the input because with Street Fighter is very specific, light punch being the first left, and then the middle one, and then the hard punch on the far right. Now, if these are ever blank, all you have to do is just simply click the button a second time and they'll register. So now I've got the perfect layout. And uh, the leftover buttons I can use here for combos, right? So these are one button combos. Instead of pushing the button three times, I'll just use the right and left trigger. Once I save that, let's go play some games. And so now as you can see here, just simply playing with the joysticks, 
wouldn't say I'm playing very well, uh, but then again, it does bring that, uh, that same nostalgia. And of course, you can configure these for Xbox controllers just the same way, but obviously sometimes it's a, a little bit different in configuring these with the physical joysticks and the iPacks, but the uh, Project Kitchen Sync Drive automatically makes all games uh, functional with the joysticks. Uh, so other than that, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more how-to and setup videos, there's quite a bit more that uh, went into this drive in this uh, creation. Uh, but you can see it's quite easy to add additional Steam games and, of course, embarrass yourself with uh, pretty poor performance. Until next time. Thanks. <laughs>